Hey YouTube. Uh, so today I wanted to do uh, Dinosaur Jr.'s new album it's called Farm. Uh, it's new, it was released in 2009 on Jag Jaguar. Uh, I really, really liked their previous album, uh, From Beyond, that came out in 2007. That was one of the albums in a long time to have all the original lineup, and all the original lineup plays on uh, Farm too. And I'm not sure what they're growing on this farm. Apparently, they're growing. Uh, gigantic grass monsters or something and they carry away stone looking children with birds and stuff and they just kind of take you to the farm I guess or you get baked all day with Dinosaur Jr. Might be fun. Uh, yeah, the whole reason you'd ever want to listen to a Dinosaur Jr. album is just for like all the guitar solos and like Jay Mace's uh, guitar playing and stuff like that. It has the typical authentic, you know, Dinosaur Jr. sound that they've always had. It's pretty much just an extension of their last album. It's just more fuzzed out guitars, millions of guitar solos. Like, the guitar solos here are the highlight of the album, too. They're great. It still has uh, the kind of, you know, mopey, pothead, bemoaning kind of lyrics and uh, vocals and stuff like that. But the band still, they sound great as a band. They, they gel well, they have good chemistry. They're a very functioning rock unit that make well crafted, you know, rock and roll songs. They're a great rock band. Yeah, you get 60 minutes on here. There's another uh, bonus album on here that has four songs on it, too, that's stuck in the middle. It's a little gatefold album. You get the bonus album just in there. It's only got four tracks. Yeah, it'd be really hard to pick a single. Like, there's no real standout tracks. All the tracks pretty much are of equal greatness, I'd say. But they're probably going to want to give you, like, I Want You To Know to be the single or something like that. There's a couple songs on here, like, There's No Here, that have a very, like, kind of... Foo Fighters kind of sound that I didn't really like, but most of the album is pretty, you know, successful Dinosaur Jr. rock and roll, scronk around, fuzzy guitars, and you know, down to shit. I really like Dinosaur Jr. Yeah, nothing too groundbreaking. It's just good, like, summer, chilling on the back porch kind of music. It's not, like, overly experimental, but it's still pretty creative. But yeah, Dinosaur Jr. always writes really well after, you know rock songs that don't really have any too many downers in their catalog yeah still has that nice unpolished kind of gritty sounding grunge sound still sounds like they have long hair and they wear flannel and that kind of shit you know dinosaur jr if you're a guitar fanatic and you like listening to cool guitar solos and you're into like sonic youth and maybe even like a, if you're a foo fighters fan and like there's some people like i have a friend who doesn't know who dinosaur jr is and they're a pretty epic phenomenal 90s band i'd say they don't really disappoint like they're pretty old they've been around since the 1980s and they're still putting out great records like this so that's pretty cool so yeah, Dinosaur Jr. Farm.